G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for tuning to Perth West Oz RC. Now, as you can see here in front of me, I've got the Cobra Brushless Truggy from VRX Racing. I haven't featured any VRX Racing uh, products on my channel before, so uh, I've actually, this particular model I've had my eye on, on and off, you know, I see it popping up on Banggood on sale usually uh, for the past probably close to a year and I've always wanted to try it out. So I uh, finally got one guys uh, for myself today to uh, review and uh, this is a full drive ready run kit guys and uh, they do claim it's a 1.8 scale but uh, it looks to me that it's much the same size and in the same category as the popular Vicar Bison, the orange Truggy that they sell and the JLB series of Truggies like the JLB uh, J3 Speed and the JLB Cheetah. Okay, so it's in the same size category and build uh, as those types of trucks. Now, another thing that I really wanted to get this one for is the price. Now, the price point of this one is significantly lower than those other two brands that I mentioned, uh, Vicar Bison and the uh, JLB. For, I guess, good reason too, because those ones have higher capacity amp uh, ESCs, and maybe the motors are a bit more powerful, I'm not too sure, I mean, I don't own those ones, but uh, the price point of this, I think, makes it a really good buy uh, or purchase to do some upgrades on them. Now, this one comes with a 60 amp ESC, guys, while the other ones come with an 80 amp and a 120 amp. But the price difference that I want to point out is quite significant. So at the moment, let me just give you an example. In US dollars, this VRX Cobra is going for uh, 260 US dollars at the moment. And that's without the coupon code that I'm going to provide in this video. So 260 US. The Vicar Bison retails for 320 US. This is all on Banggood, guys. And the JLB J3 Speed, uh, or the Cheetah, uh, is around the $335 mark. Actually, the, the JLB 3 speed is, I, I think, about $370, and the Cheetah is $335, okay, guys? So the Bison has an 80 amp ESC. The two uh, JLB models have a 120 amp ESC. Now, that's in US dollars, but in Australian currency, which is, you know, uh, relevant to me, uh, those price gaps, because of the exchange rate, those price gaps are even bigger again. So this VRX uh, Cobra is $365 Australian at the moment without the coupon code. The Bison in Australian dollars is $461. So that's an extra $100 right there on top. The JLB J3 Speed is $517 Australian. And the JLB Cheetah is $470 Australian. So as you can see, a really big gap in those uh, prices. So uh, like I said, this might be a pretty good option. I haven't ran it yet, so I don't know. But uh, it might be a good option uh, you know, to save a bit of money and then upgrade this one later to a bigger ESC, which I plan to do. plan to do a, put a higher rated ESC and maybe play around with some different brushless motor combos as well. So uh, anyway, I believe... This one is, yeah, well, this one is a RH818. I believe uh, they made a brush version with a 590 motor, but Banggood don't stop that. And really, you wouldn't want a brushed one. You just go straight to the brush list. Now, let me go through some of the options on the box here. As you can see, it's a read to run uh, package here. There's three differentials in this one, so it's got a center diff as well, guys. It says unique gearbox design for lower center of gravity. Now this one has light and high impact uh, impact resistant uh, swing arms or lower control arms that they're claiming. It's got big bore shocks, adjustable wheelbase on hub carrier. Also has a, it says it has a unique steering system with front universal joint shafts. It's got a molded uh, nylon strong chassis plate, so that it is a it is a plastic uh, chassis plate here. The upper plates are aluminum or aluminium, okay, so the second floor chassis plate, the center brace there. Molded battery case, adjustable grub screws and suspension arms for different uh, racing fields here. I guess they mean, you know, adjustments. Powerful motor and high quality RC system. So uh, 
that's it for the box. All right, guys, let's bring in a shot here. I've already taken it out of the box. Looks pretty, pretty good. I like the uh, the style of the body on this one and the stance of it. So uh, first off, let me go over some of the documentation that we get. So first off, we've got like a leaflet here. It shows you all the specs of the 60 amp ESC and uh, the motor, okay? And also on the back here, it shows you how you can program it. One of those uh, program cards, I have one of those. I've got a couple of them actually, and it just tells you you can program the ESC. All right. You also get, looks like in this goodie bag, a little straw for the antenna and the binding plug for the, um, and reset pin for the um, ESC. Should you need to do any rebinding. Now this one comes with a Fly Sky remote system. I own a couple of these GT2 remotes and they got pretty good range. I think they're rated at uh, 200 meters or something like that. So full instruction manual there. It's in Chinese and English, so it's in. Uh, it's got a combination of both. Okay, so anyway, that's that. Looks like we've got a leftover sticker sheet. <laughs> now they've gone ahead. Uh, VRX Racing have gone ahead from the factory and put, put most of the decals on, which is awesome. But we've got uh, some spare ones. So whatever was left over when the person in the factory was putting them on, they've just left the uh, leftover ones. As you can see, one says brushless, and you got even brushed uh, decals there. So that's cool. They left you a few spare there. We've got the user manual for the truck itself, for the Cobra Truggy here. The 1.8 scale they're claiming. They claim it on the listing too, but really it's a, a one ten scale. Just like those other two I mentioned, the Vicar Bison and the, uh, the JLB series. So exploded diagrams throughout, guys. I don't want to spend too much time on the user manual. Okay, so you've got exploded diagrams. There should be a parts list on the back. Some more exploded diagrams. And of course, the yeah, parts list on the back. So parts shouldn't be any problem. Uh, should you need to uh, do any repairs or replace any parts? Uh, I think Banggood would uh, stock all these. If not, uh, there'll be other sites online, maybe VRX. Racing have their own dedicated website where you can uh, just type in the code number, the model number rather, of those parts and they'd be able, able to help you out. Now in this bag we have a charger here. Okay, so if you don't have a dedicated charger at home already, like a hobby grade one, this is a reader run kit and uh, comes with its own little charger here, which these are not too bad guys. These compact chargers are all right. It's 10 watt chargers, this is the HB3, much like the uh, other B3 ones that come in these sort of uh, brushless trucks. It can take, uh, and it can charge two to three cell. There's a 2S balance port and a 3S, which is awesome. And uh, these ones are not too bad um, to charge up with if you don't, like I said, if you're starting out in the hobby or you don't have uh, a charger, these will get you through. And they don't take too long to charge the uh, lipos that come with it. Now this has got a European plug. Um, they did not supply me with the Australian uh, universal adapter, but I have a heap of them, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, if you're in the US, they probably send you one with a US plug. Okay, guys. Here is the FlySky GT2 uh, transmitter here. These are pretty common transmitters with some of these brushless uh, trucks and truggies especially HSP models. Uh, I've got a, quite a few of these ones. The FS GT2, really good remote actually, guys, um, for a budget remote. Um, they've got their own dedicated, uh, this one has anyway, some don't, but this one has a, a actual antenna uh, sticking out, like a dipole here, and you know, it's adjustable, so that's good. The uh, I like the feel of these ones. They're very responsive remotes and uh, really good on throttle and the uh, steering here. This one has like a little rubber wheel on it, you know, on the outside of this uh, steering wheel. Really nice. And it's got good spring tension, guys. It, you know, it uh, feels fairly loose and, and easy. It's very easy to control. Um, so, yeah, it centers really, really easy and quickly. Uh, this one here has your standard stuff 
like most uh, RC remotes, you've got your normal reverse for your uh, your steering and your throttle. You've got your uh, steering trim, also your steering drill rate and throttle trim, and off and on, on switch, covered by this uh, little cover here, dust cap cover. And this one takes, like always, it takes eight batteries. I've already put some in. So here it is here, guys. Really nice looking truggy. It's got uh, big bore suspension here, all filled. I really like the, the design of this uh, this shell here. Uh, I like the camouflage uh, look to it as well. It's got the camo look. Nice low profile truggy uh, shell here. These wheels too, they're uh, nice looking uh, six spoke black rim with uh, some nice chunky foam filled tires as well. Pretty aggressive uh, uh, thread pattern on these ones, so it should uh, grip and go really good on off-road, all right? Got a big wing on the back here. Okay, this is supposed to be impact resistant, so it's got a bit of flex to it. Pretty good, okay? So let's have a look. Let's uh, take the pins off. Make sure I don't lose them here. So the shell, it's pretty rigid, like uh, it's not too bad in the thickness. So it should uh, withstand quite a bit of a hit. And uh, yeah, not a bad looking shell, like I mentioned, got a few decals here. I like how the windows are, are clear as well. So here it is here, guys. Let's have a look at it. We have a 3,300 milliamp hour battery 3s 11.1 volt now i think they're claiming that you're going to get about uh 15 minutes out of this 12 to 15 minutes so it depends how, how you drive it's got a dean's plug strapped in nicely with two velcro straps i'm not going to bother taking it out uh, we've got the esc here which is a 60 amp esc guys I don't think it's waterproof, but it might be splash proof. I'm not too sure. It might be waterproof. It actually, actually, it might be waterproof because of the uh, the on off switch has got that little, um, let me get it out of the way here. Sorry, the balance lead. It might be waterproof because the switch has got that waterproof cover. So it might be, yeah. We've got the fan on top. So it's, it looks like a standard uh, 60 amp ESC, you know, that you can buy uh, online. Um, Nice shockies, like I mentioned here. We've got all the linkages and turnbuckles for a full adjustment on your toe and camber. Okay, these oil filled shocks, big bore. It's also got the adjustment preload, preload rather rings on it as well. We have CVDs, all metal CVDs on the on the front. Diff cups and metal as well. All metal geared guys. You can clearly hear that even just by spinning the wheel. Okay, these hubs look to be plastic maybe. Okay, there's the adjustable swing arms as well that they claim that you can adjust these as well. Okay, bit of a bumper on the front here for impacts. Now on this side, we've got this servo. I'm not too sure what this servo is rated at guys, but it looks like a pretty common one that I've seen in my HSP trucks. E6001 is the model number there just there so it looks pretty familiar uh like i said they don't state the uh the actual grams of torque or kilograms of torque on this one i couldn't find any info on that we've got the uh fly sky receiver uh re box here now they claim this is a a waterproof box because it's all enclosed so you know that's going to help with going through uh there's a 3650 motor guys and once again i couldn't get the uh there's no specs of the kv rating on this one so not too sure whether it's 3000 kv maybe higher we'll soon see the way it runs but uh looks like a pretty decent uh size motor here the 3650 actually looks pretty long i don't know if it's just my eyes but looks a little bit different to some of my other 36k uh 3650 kv motors it's all even got a dedicated fan for the motor and on top of the heat sink here which is really nice to see there's that uh aluminium top deck plate 
the uh, center brace there. You can also see that just under here is where the third diff is, the center diff on this one. Just there. Hopefully you can see that. I'm knocking the camera around, but uh, it's got a two-piece tail shaft. There's the rear coming from the rear diff, center diff, and then another shaft, which you can hardly see. There it is there. Two-piece tail shaft going to the front diff. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, looks pretty good uh, for the price anyway. Uh, I'll be taking this one out, guys, um, as soon as I can. So uh, that's gonna end the uh, unboxing and overview of this one. Just put this shell on it. So yeah, guys, uh, what I'll do, I'll charge it fully. I'll take it out on a different day. I can't take it out today because I've got a few things to do. And it's really hot today anyway, so I don't really want to go out in the middle of the day in this in this heat. I think it's going to be close to 40 today. So I'm shooting this in the shed midday. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, anyway, I'll be leaving links to this one below. Um, it's a really good price at the moment, like I mentioned, around 260 US. I've got a coupon code also that I'm going to I'm going to add to this, so that's going to bring that price down even further during the Black Friday sales. And uh, yeah, maybe have a look at this one if you're uh, interested. Okay, guys, all the links and coupon codes will be down below for Banggood. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. If you're new to the channel, by all means, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, uh, share if you like as well this video. I should do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, that is the VRX Cobra Violence Truck. It really is a truggy. And uh, yeah. I think for the price, this might be a winner. So uh, I look forward to testing this one out and uh, I'll make a video out on it later when I take through its first drive test. All right, guys? So until then, enjoy the hobby, enjoy your day or night, and I'll catch you around on the next one. Thanks very much for uh, taking time to watch this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.